that could be returned by such a measurement is going to be at point A. That is most likely where I'm going to find the particle. It's just a straight out um, direct literal interpretation of the graph of the probability density function. Now we move on to D. What is the probability of finding the particle to the left of A? So the very, very first time I did this, I messed up and I did it all to the right. So hopefully I won't do that one again. Um, to the left of A means between zero and A. So that means I can map up the probability just by integrating the probability density function only from zero to A. Now I know, and that's gonna there we go. Well, specifically, it's going to be that function times its complex conjugate. So yes, I will get a positive number here. So that's 0 to a dx 3 over b x a squared. Or I could go ahead and write that. Let's just pull those constants out. 3 over b a squared, and then I just have the integral over x of x squared. So my probability of finding it between, like to the left of a, is just going to be 3 over b a squared, and then the integral of that guy is going to just be x cubed over 3. So I get a cubed over 3. Half of my probability to find it to the left of a is just a over b. So looking at the literal interpretation of that, what is the probability to find it to the left of A, to get that number, which we normalized before, I'm literally just taking the area of the probability density curve from 0 to A. Now let's look at these limiting cases, because these tell us quite a bit if we were on the right track. Now if B were equal to A, that would mean that my wave function only exists between 0 and B. We know from the fact that we had to normalize it that it must be between 0 and b. So what that means is that I have to have a 100% probability of finding my particle between 0 and a because that's the only place where my particle exists. So if b equal to a, I should have 100% probability. I'm going to plug in a for b, and I get a divided by a, and I get 100% probability. So we're happy. Our other limiting case is what if b equals 2 times a? So what that would mean is that this length here would be equal to this length here. This is a parabola. This is a parabola. So that means that those two areas underneath those curves have to be equal to each other if this condition is true. So if I have a probability of finding the particle on to the left of A, I should have an equal probability of finding it to the right of A if this condition is met, meaning I should have a 50% probability. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Uh, instead of writing b, I'm going to write 2 over a. My a's cancel, and I get 1 half, or 50% probability. So again, we are happy. So there we go for d. 
our probability of finding it to the left of A is just A over B. On to the last part. For the last part, we are going to be finding the expectation value. So our expectation value by the integral in general over all space and that would be our wave function the value that we want to make our measurement of and the complex conjugate or I could write this out in our case I can simplify it to just be the absolute value of the wave function squared. And this is our probability density function. Um, I haven't done a video yet on expectation value, but it's going to be the next one that I do. It's section 1.5 of Griffiths is about expectation values, and we're not quite there yet, but we still know how to compute it. So we are going to again break this up into two integrals. So our first integral is between 0 and a dx and then we're going to have an x a squared x squared over a squared and that'll be plus our integral from a to b dx x x minus b squared oh and we have that a squared there and then b minus a squared okay our a squared is 3 over b So I'm going to pull that guy out. And now I'm pretty much just flat out too lazy to like simplify this as much as it could be simplified. So like this squared. And all I'm left with is this integral from 0 to a. Not hard here b minus a squared and then we're, we're going to be integrating from a to b again but I'm going to just like x times x minus b squared I'm going to go ahead and foil that plus b squared oh, minus a to B, then that guy's just constant. Oh, X. Okay, and then that ends. So instead of doing anything like too fancy, I, I just parsed it all out, which it could be simplified later if I wasn't so lazy. So now we go ahead and we integrate um, x to the third. Um, that's just going to end up being x to the fourth over 4 from 0 to a. And then that'll be plus this guy. And then this one is the same integral. So that's going to be x to the fourth. Oh, I didn't need the minus sign there yet. I sort of jumped the gun on that. b minus a. Then that's going to be minus 2b. The integral of x is x squared over 2 a to b. And our last one, probably the easiest integral. Well, no, e to the x is the easiest integral. That is x squared. So that's going to be x cubed 
because we have x cubed minus 2x squared b plus b squared x. Okay, I was going to say we should not get a polynomial with two of the same power. This one is going to just be x squared over 2, and that's evaluated from a to b. Okay, we have 3 over b. We have 1 over a squared, and then that's going to be a to the fourth over 4 minus 1 over a b squared. And then we're going to have a to the fourth minus b to the fourth over 4 minus 2b over 3a to the cubed minus b cubed. And then that's going to be plus b squared over 2, and then we have a squared minus b squared. And that's as much as I'm going to simplify that. I mean, the other... This stuff is pretty much trivial, simplifying that guy. Simplifying this, not so much trivial. That That's just a lot of algebra, though. So I'm going to leave it there. It's not pretty, but it is the expectation value of x. Uh, you probably have better luck just doing a straight up u substitution to get a prettier answer, but I'm satisfied enough with that answer. So that answer for e. And that is it for Griffith's problem 1.7. Our first problem for normalization. But don't worry, there's a few more to come.